Hello friends, uh, this is Narendra Sharma. Welcome to the platform of IQ Civils IS Academy. Uh, today we are going to discuss an important topic that is Sakurajima volcano, which has erupted again in Japan. Well, this is a this is a panel of elite faculties which will teach you at this academy and government. These are the government projects by IQ Civil Science Academy, which you can see here in this slide. And in this slide, there are Google reviews through which you can uh, have an assessment that, yes, uh, how this institute is better for you. Okay. Well, come to the point that is uh, Sakurizima is a volcano which has erupted again in Japan. Okay. So uh, I hope you have heard about volcano, what exactly volcano is. So exactly I am telling you volcano is uh, basically a vent or the opening or the hole on the surface to which magmatic material comes on the surface. Not only the magmatic material but gases, ashes and dust. Isn't it? Means apart from the magma the gases and dust also erupts in the atmosphere to this hole or mouth or the vent on the surface of earth which is known as volcano so this mouth or opening is known as volcano volcano sometimes not always sometimes but what we can say in general in general what students believe that volcano is a mountain isn't it it is not a mountain mountain is basically it is a residual impact of the magma which has cooled and solidified and constructed itself in the form of mountain but this mountain is not the volcano. Volcano is this opening or the vent, isn't it? This mouth on the surface of the earth through which magmatic products come on the surface like magma, isn't it? Magma, gases. And solid particles, solid rock particles comes on the surface. So in general, in this world, we have more than 500 or we, what we can say more than 500 active volcanoes in the world. Active volcanoes means those volcanoes which are erupting frequently with a smaller gap, which are erupting frequently. And at the, crate, at the mouth of the volcano, you always feel like you always feel heat, smoke, gases, steam, isn't it? So through active volcanoes, such materials frequently comes out, isn't it? And there is a, a high level of temperature is associated with the mouth of volcano, isn't it? High level of temperature. So active volcanoes means those volcanoes which are frequently erupting after a small period of time, after a small gap. And there is always, you can visualize the smoke, gases and steams are also coming out from the mouth of the volcano and the temperature at, of this area is also higher, isn't it? You need to keep all these things in mind when we are discussing active volcano. And today, the volcano which we are going to discuss, that is also an example of active volcano, active stato volcano. I'll come to that. So see here, uh, the the news, why it was in the news, see, why it was in the news, I am telling you, Sakurazima volcano, Sakurazima volcano erupts in Japan. It is one of the most active volcano of Japan. I have told you what is active volcano. The Sakurajima volcano has erupted again. It means it has erupted previously, I mean, uh, erupted many times in the history. That's why it is active volcano. It is located in Kagoshima prefecture. Prefecture means the it is political zone. It is political zone in Japan and China. They are considered as political zone or political boundary, which is more bigger than any city, village or town, isn't it? And according to my uh, report, there are more than 47 prefecture in Japan. So Sakurujima volcano, isn't it? This volcano has erupted at 8.25 p.m. That is the local time of Japan. And if I am not forgetting, that is the 24th of July Sunday, isn't it? 24th of July Sunday, uh, when this volcano has erupted. And the eruption continued for the second straight day on Monday. And it has continuously 
it was continuously erupting for three days i am telling you even on tuesday it was erupting so sakuru jima volcano was erupting uh, consistently for three days and it was about 1000 kilometers south i mean sakura jima is has been located about 1000 kilometer southwest of tokyo so you must see these locations on your map on your atlas because they can be part of your mcqs isn't it multiple choice question in your is films exam this is one of the most active volcanoes in the japan and has re repeatedly erupted repeatedly erupted that's why it is an active volcano it is an example of active volcano it used to be an island it used to be an island i mean previously it was known as an island but become a peninsula following an eruption in 1914 how it was an island how it became a peninsula because see when it was an island when this volcano suppose this volcano was an example of island isn't it like uh like this isn't it everywhere water is there and water has surrounded this volcano and after frequent eruption the lava has cooled and solidified and it has extended the area and now it is it becomes a peninsula because of continuous flow of lava isn't it so now the island has extended into peninsula isn't it that's why it was it is written here that it used to be an island but it become a peninsula after following an eruption in 1914 okay. so as far as volcanoes are concerned japan is uh, one of the most sensitive zone in terms of not only in terms of volcanoes but also in terms of earthquakes and tsunamis why is it so i am telling you uh, one beautiful example one beautiful fact i am giving you here that is uh see this is the japan suppose this is a let me rub this page so that i can show you very with high clarity uh yes now see this yes this is your japan suppose this is an island of honsu island of japan which is the biggest island of japan and japan is located along the boundary line boundary zone of eurasian plate isn't it so from here uh, there are three plates which are, uh, they are, what you can say, there are three plates which are colliding, isn't it, in Japan. Here one plate is uh, Eurasian plate, isn't it? So Eurasian plate is here. Eurasian plate. This is your uh, Pacific plate. And this is your Philippines plate. Philippines is a minor plate. And other two Pacific and Eurasian are major plates. So you can see the location of Japan. Here three plates are converging. See, normally two plates are converging or diverging, but here three plates are converging at one place that is Japan. And that's why this place is considered as considered as this plate is considered as that this plate is following triple junction theory. What is this theory? In this theory, a place which is uh, locating on the junction of a place which is locating on the junction of collision of three plates isn't it that is triple junction theory japan is also facing japan is also uh, having uh, i mean this type of theory i mean japan location of japan is showing triple junction theory and if three plates are converging and colliding frequently simultaneously then obviously there is a high degree of danger of tsunami, isn't it? Uh, volcano, as well as earthquake. Got it. So, uh, Sakurizima volcano is uh, that has erupted again. Where it has been located exactly, I want to show you through this diagram. You can see the location, and my dear students, please draw the uh draw this location on your atlas also see the location on your atlas and draw this location on the blank map so that you can make yourself perfect as far as mapping is concerned got it Kuruzima is here you can see the location and now you can also see that japan has located in japan has been divided into several islands isn't it like one two three isn't it 
तो दीज आर द सेवरल आईलैंड होनशु होकाइडू क्यूशु होकु सो देर आर मोर देन थ्री आईलैंड आई मीन the the entire japan has been divided into four island mainly four major part of four major part of uh, there are four major part of island of japan islands of japan the biggest one is honsu this is the honsu so mount aso is not located on honsu isn't it now see in terms of its location if you see the location obviously uh questions can be asked suppose everybody is very well known about sakura jima because it is in the news but many of the time majority of the time upsc is taking a u turn from this fact and upsc can ask a question that uh, what are the other active volcanoes of japan isn't it that has also been located here mount asama mount ontek mount fuji mount aso isn't it so these are other active volcanoes of the japan which you should know because you never know when ups is going to take a u turn okay so well so this is a this is an event of current affair which we are discussing right now and again i am telling you we are discussing sakurajima volcano which has erupted again in japan isn't it and this was the location all about the location of sakurajima volcano and this is a uh, what you can say uh, yes sakurajima volcano then what is sakurajima volcano the next question is it is one of japan's most active volcanoes and the eruption of varying level takes place on regular basis it is an active strato volcano so mind it my dear students active strato volcano is what active means it is an example of active volcano side by side the second name is it is the strato volcano isn't it so let me explain you i have explained you about the active volcano now strato volcano what is what do you mean by strato volcano strato volcano it is the another name of composite volcano isn't it suppose this is a mouth of the vent through which molten magma has to erupt isn't it this is a mouth or vent through which molten magma erupts so when magma erupts it i have told you not only magma is coming but the volcano also brings volcano also brings the dust and gases in the sky isn't it dust gases or the rock particles in the sky so these dust gases and rock particles are going to settle over the magma isn't it because it was in the sky that's why it takes some time in order to settle themselves over the erupted magma what it the first magma has erupted and settled on the surface as you can see here and over it this is the magma which has been erupted and settled first and over it over which the floating materials that was in the form of dust ashes and solid particles such floating materials are depositing or settling down over the layer of the magma so this is uh, basically uh, lava now magma becomes lava see on the surface it is considered as lava and then over the surface of lava there is a layer of ash okay so this is the basically layered structure layered structure or uh, layered structure of volcanic material suppose after few years again the eruption has taken place and again the magma the magma comes on the surface through this vent or the opening and the magma is spreaded on the surface and in this way the height of the mountain is also increasing isn't it height of the volcanic mountain is also increasing so again the magma what you can say here again the magma has been uh, deposited solidified cooled and solidified and then the remaining materials which was in the form of dust and gases they settle themselves over the layer of this magma or the lava this is the next layer so again you can see here in this way then i mean after next eruption magma that is lava and then ash now you can see there is a alternate band of lava ash lava ash okay 
and because of this layered structure that is strato strato the term has been derived from the stratum stratum means layer i hope you have you have heard about strato clouds stratos uh, strato clouds which are middle clouds so strata means layer so this volcano has i mean strato volcano is a type of volcano in which there is a layer of lava and ashes consecutively isn't it layer of lava and ashes so that's why such layered structure of volcano is known as strato volcano isn't it which is also known as composite volcano which is also known as composite volcano so uh, this was the fact behind the i mean sakurajima sakurajima volcano which has erupted in so sakurajima volcano has erupted in japan and it is uh, where it has located i have told you and uh, basically when it has erupted just few days back isn't it and this is the location uh, and this is what is sakurajima volcano isn't it and after this uh, yes about sakurajima volcano now uh, they are going through so its eruption has recorded since 8th century the eruption of sakurajima volcano has recorded since 8th century now you can imagine since how many years back this volcano is consistently erupting isn't it and due to its frequent deposition due to its frequent deposition of ash on kagoshima and due to its explosive potential it is considered as one of the very dangerous volcano isn't it see obviously it is one of the very dangerous volcano because of frequent deposition of ash on kagoshima and due to its explosive potential obviously why it is uh, i mean why this volcano is considered as potentially very i mean it is dangerous because as far as if you see the map of the world you see the map of the world let me erase this slide so that you can i can draw it in a better way see suppose this is a pacific ocean isn't it this is japan here so in this uh, pacific ocean if you have gone through plate tectonic obviously this part is the boundary of converging boundary this part is the basically zone of convergence of two plates isn't it like eurasian and pacific the pacific plate is coming from this side and eurasian plate is coming from this side and these are the regions of pacific ocean and this this is the boundary of the this is basically this is the zone of water isn't it and this is your boundary this is exactly your boundary of eurasian plate and pacific plate so this is the boundary obviously boundary is the dangerous zone and it is not only boundary other aspects which are making this area potentially hazardous or disastrous is that the pacific plate is converging which is the most heaviest massive centered and continuously subducting plate so the pacific plate is associated with its size which is bigger what bigger its biggest massiveness isn't it velocity so all these features are making the pacific plate very dangerous in terms of disasters like earthquake volcano and tsunami what right now see as far as this plate is concerned pacific plate it is subducting beneath beneath the eurasian plate because eurasian plate is somewhat continental and continental plates are lighter that is of 2.7 gram per centimeter cube and pacific plate is a uh, heavier that is of 2.9 uh, gram 
per centimeter cube. So, because specific plate is uh, basaltic in nature, it is uh, it is having uh, abundant of magnesium in comparison of Cl or in comparison of uh, continental crust. This oceanic crust is having much. I mean, uh, I mean uh, more than magnesium is more than the continental crust. So 2.9 gram, it is heavier, that's why it is subducting and this is subducting along this boundary and that's why it is disturbing the rock in the internal layers of the earth and such disturbances releases seismic energy also and that's why such zones are highly dangerous, for example Japan. So this Pacific, the biggest plate is liable to subduct and produces seismic energy which can produce ultimately earthquake and tsunami isn't it and because of the heavier subduction of plate at this point because of heavier subduction of plates at this place this point what we can say uh, Pacific plate is heavier so it is subducting beneath the Eurasian plate and after melting because it has subducted in the asthenosphere and the asthenospheric zone is having high temperature that is 2000 degree centigrade. This part of plate has been melted and extra magma has been accumulated in the interior of the earth and whenever this area gets immense or intense pressure, this volcano comes on the surface. I mean this magma comes on the surface in the form of volcanic eruption. Isn't it? So in this way, volcano erupts on the Eurasian plate, but it, it is because of subduction of Pacific plate, isn't it? This is the watery zone. So subducted plate is Pacific plate, which has subducted up to greater depth, and that's why it has melted. Melting of the plates leads to formation of magma, and this magma comes on the surface through the gaps of the crust. Through the gaps or the cracks of the crust, when this magma comes on the surface, starts Affect it starts showing its uh, low potential initially and gradually its intensity and velocity and explosiveness also becomes higher. Why is it so? Because the plate which is subducting, Pacific plate is not only disturbing the internal rocks but also they are producing high amount of magma which can generate volcanic eruption on the surface as we have seen in the case of this volcano. That is known as Sakura Zima, isn't it? So, it is uh, why I mean Sakura Zima is the active volcanoes as well as they are erupting on a regular basis, and they are the example of active stratovolcano. The largest historical eruption of Sakura Zima took place during such and such year, isn't it? As I have shown you in the diagram, like not only Japan comes in the dangerous zone, as it is, as why is it comes in the dangerous zone also, I am telling you, because Japan is an example of island, isn't it? And it is a very, uh, island is very narrower, so it is in a danger zone, all, it is, always remains in a danger or always remains in a fear, Japanese always remains in a fear, mainly for tsunami and earthquakes, isn't it? Active volcanoes are also there which can destroy life up to some extent as I have told you these are the uh, what these are the examples of active volcanoes of Japan as you can see in this slide. Isn't it? UPSC never UPSC is never saying that I am going to ask questions from this aspect because this is in the news no and that's why in your market of UPSC what you can say in, I am I am talking of uh, why I am using the term market because yes you have to come for quality isn't it you can assess your quality in the classes so uh, you can also compare with the other aspects of material through which you are getting the material or the class modes or whatever isn't it what I need to say if you are getting the quality education obviously you will get uh, will be more productive, isn't it? See, after the eruption of Sakura Zima volcano, 
It reports large rocks fell as far as 2.5 km from the Sakurajima volcano Sunday night in the southern prefecture of Kagoshima. You have to also see this location on your, in your atlas or on the map because this can be part of mapping, isn't it? Mapping of world geography, world regional geography. Because 80% of the question in mapping of world geography comes from the current affairs. So mind it, this, these facts and these locational aspects mainly are highly important for you, isn't it? As far as examination is concerned. Footage on Japan's NHK publication television showed orange flames flashing near the crater and dark smoke with ash billowing high above the moon. Isn't it? Whatever the footage of on Japan's NHK public television has been uh, showed by the by that media that by that particular media, I am requesting from that media that is NHK public television that please don't use the word crater here, isn't it? Because crater is mainly associated with dead volcano, isn't it? Dead volcano, isn't it? And what? Sakurajima is an example of Sakurajima an example of active volcano as you have seen here. So if it is active, how it can be dead? And if it is active, how it can have crater, isn't it? Mind it. What is crater? Crater is basically the opening or the mouth. What I am showing you here. This is the crater. But the opening or the mouth is on the surface through which magma erupts. Magma coming from this vent, basically. Isn't it? If this magma comes on the surface. This is your crater, which is in the form of biggest depression, which is in the form of biggest depression on over the mouth of over the mouth or the vent of volcano or the vent of volcano, isn't it? So this is the crater, this is saucer shaped. I mean construction which is naturally forming here. Why it is forming? Because of when a volcano is not erupting or when, when, a, when a volcano has not erupted since more than thousands of years, obviously uh, this place will have, I mean the top of the mountain, volcanic mountain, at the top of volcanic mountain, you will find a saucer shaped structure, isn't it? This saucer shaped structure is basically filled by water also in the gradual in the in the uh, in the coming days and this water is now it is known as crater lake so crater lake is basically part of dead volcano it is not a part of active volcano so i am very surprised that still people are highly confused about these facts and they are publishing the news in media isn't it they are showing the news in electronic media and they are publishing the news in newspaper my dear students you must aware about such kind of facts and for all these explanation, you must come in the class, you must visit the class, you can see the clarity, more clarity over there. Well, uh, so this is uh, basically Sakurajima volcano, Sakurajima volcano and uh, this is in Japan. Now I have told you that UPSC can have questions like what are the other volcanoes in Japan? Most remarkable volcanoes. Other remarkable volcanoes in Japan. What are those volcanoes? For example, here, Mount Fuji. It is also known as Mount Fujiyama. Fujiyama. Well known active volcano located in Honsu Island of Japan, isn't it? It is the tallest peak in Japan with 3000 such and such elevation. In Asia, it is the second highest peak volcano and rank 7 in the world's highest peak. Now, you can have, I mean, such information. See, uh, for world mapping, what you can do? You have to prepare 50 words. 50 words or 50 words of write-up, isn't it? Such write-up will uh, do a lot in your favor in the exam, isn't it? 
so you must have such kind of write ups of 50 words for sakurajima volcano sakurajima volcano also but there are other active volcanoes there are also other active volcanoes in the japan that's why we are discussing here and they can be they may be asked by upsc in near future that what are the other remarkable volcanoes in japan apart from the sakurajima because when everyone focuses everyone focuses on the sakurajima obviously a uh, upsc tries always tries to divert your mind or always to try tries to divert your attention in the examination hall so that they can reject you but you should not be a part of rejection you should be you must be a part of selection and that's why you must go through such kind of facts which are highly necessary for you well mount fuji okay other active volcano mount anjan mount anjan it is a group of volcanoes the most dangerous eruption from mount anjan has no, was noted in 1792 killing 15000 people isn't it mount aso it is an active volcano with one of the largest caldera in the world there is another term which is known as caldera i am telling you what is caldera so caldera if you see the caldera it is the biggest form of crater suppose uh, see this is the mouth through which magma erupts okay if magma erupts on the surface and if it is successively it has when it has successively erupted then obviously the height of the mountain will also increase and at the top of mountain saucer shaped depression forms when the volcano when this volcano has not erupted since thousand years isn't it at the top of the mountain you will have a saucer shaped basin which is known as crater isn't it you can take a bath also here because i have told you crater is basically it is a sign of dead volcano isn't it now when this crater collapsed or subsides isn't it subside then this crater becomes bigger isn't it for example i am raising this and after falling or the subsiding of crater what happens the mouth of the crater becomes bigger which is known as caldera initially it was smaller here isn't it but after the collapsing of crater it has converted into bigger mouth that is known as caldera so caldera is basically the extension of crater isn't it caldera is extension of crater which has been formed due to subsidence of the crater or the collapse of the crater the mountain in mount aso mount aso is an also an example of active volcano with one of the largest caldera in the world mind it with one of the largest caldera in the world it is located in kyushu's kunamato prefecture it is also the largest volcano in japan so you must have awareness about such facts which are highly necessary for prelims isn't it here you can say mount aso and this is kyushu island isn't it this is honshu island this is hokkaido island hokkaido honshu kyushu and Shikoku, isn't it? So there are four. What you can say, four islands in Japan. Four major islands. Three major islands. One is smaller one. So it is located in Kyushu's Kumamoto Prefecture. Kyushu. So here it is. Shikoku, then Kyushu, Honshu, Shikoku. issue then shikoku okay so this is your uh, fourth smaller island that is known as shikoku shikoku kyushu honshu hokkaido isn't it these are the four major group of islands of japan and in kyushu mount aso has been located it is an example of active volcano and largest caldera is also over this mountain isn't it then mount kirishima 
Mount Kirishima, it is located in Kagoshima Prefecture in at Miyajaki Prefecture, Kyushu in Japan, isn't it? It's also an example of active volcano of 1700 meter. So obviously prefecture, I have also uh, told you about the what is prefecture. It is a political boundary in Japan, isn't it? And China and Japan has divided into around 47 prefectures, isn't it? Osima, Osima volcano. It is the most torment volcano in Japan, most torment. It has been last erupted in 1741 and killed almost 1500 people, isn't it, in Japan? Well, what is dormant volcano? Dormant volcano, basically active volcano is actively participating in order to release the magma, dust and gases, isn't it? But dormant takes some time. Dormant volcano, I mean, dormant is not active. So, eruption takes place after certain gap isn't it and dormant in dormant volcano uh, there is a possibility possibility of future eruption but there is no surety of future eruption in dormant it can convert it into dead also isn't it where the volcano has not erupted since thousand years the dormant volcano is having possibility of future eruption. Okay. So uh, this is all about Sakurujima. Now I want to sum up all these uh, aspects which we have discussed today in a nutshell. So first of all, you must know what is volcano. In mind it, many of the times we have seen that very less traditional questions are coming from the traditional topic that is volcano, isn't it? But yes, if this traditional topic is associated with current affairs, like Sakura Zima, isn't it? Which has erupted again. So just like this topic, if this volcano is associated, this traditional word is associated with current affairs, they can you they can so that you can have a question in your prelims as well as in your mains exam got it in prelims whatever i mean and one more thing volcano is mainly a prelims based topic entire volcano in geography it is a prelims based topic but as far as mains is concerned you can be asked about Several types of volcano like stato volcano, types of volcano, isn't it? Then socio-economic impact of volcanic eruptions and at last you can have question which are related with global warming. climate change of the environment and ecology. So in this way, in mains exam, you can have various types of question. So diversity is highly possible for mains exam, not for your prelims. Prelims are highly factual. They will ask the direct question from this topic. But in mains, you can have like, what is stato volcano, isn't it? Stato volcano is also known as composite volcano. Okay, so my dear students, this is all about, this is, uh, you can say, all about the Akuruzima volcanic eruption. People have not died, I mean, uh, people have been evacuated from that place, that's why it is, uh, it, is it is not, it is not uh, become, it, it doesn't become more dangerous for the people, local people of there, but yes, as far as eruption is continuing, this is in the news and whatever the information or the facts which are related with this eruption, I mean, you must aware, you have to aware from those facts also, okay? Well, this is all about, and one more information I want to tell you uh, that is rain of ash. Ash means uh, there's such kind of ash you can see over this scar, isn't it? Bonnet of this scar. I mean, it shows that a large 
uh, amount of ashes has also deposited on the surface nearby surface of nearby erupted area nearby uh, that volcanic eruption that area which where eruption has occurred well so thank you uh, this is your for inquiries regarding admissions isn't it you can contact at these numbers freely feel free to contact for offline and off online batches new batches are starting on 1st of august as well as 10th of august isn't it well so thank you thank you from iq sources academy uh, all the best